Good day, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm, of course, Calvalus, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing the two star weekly adventure, the Shadow Portal into the Gangplank, and we are going to be using Jack for this one. So, this was actually requested by, I believe, a couple of you guys uh, here on the channel. You guys wanted to see a uh, run with the Jack into the Gangplank. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to go ahead and take a look at it and see how it all plays out. So, let's just quickly go into the special rules here, real quick. I don't expect to spend too much time here, actually, because I think this is actually a pretty easy adventure, if I'm going to be totally honest honest with you. Uh, hopefully I don't eat my words, we'll have to see. But anyway, in terms of the adventure itself, we have the Embrace the Current. When the player plays a spell, they refill one spell mana. Uh, shifting Mist, round start if the foe has the attack token, they summon an encroaching Mist. So the Embrace the Current here is probably going to be really good with the Jack, I feel. Uh, mainly because we are going to be able to refill one spell mana, and every time we refill our spell mana, Jack here will get a stat buff. We're going to the stop pause real quick. Uh, if we could find it, there we go. Tip the scales. When you refill mana, give allies plus one plus zero this round. I believe if you storm up here, he should actually get a Oh, no, he doesn't get an additional stat buff. He actually deals one to all enemies. All right. So that means that will actually promote or essentially help out a little bit with the uh, brash keyword, I would say. But we're not going to go ahead and upgrade the jack here because I think tip the scales one should be fine. I'd rather keep this fragments to unlock some new champions. In fact, I think I'm planning to unlock maybe the Nami or something. Uh, I haven't really decided yet, but I think we're going to do that. We are going to unlock a new champion. Uh, but for now, we are going to go ahead and check things out with the jack here. So since we're already in the stop hour menu, we might as well go over the stop hours. We have the slipping with the fishes plus one stung mana when you gain the attack token create a fleeting prize fight in hand so obviously this will actually allow us to get the mana refill uh, the mana refill will in turn give us the plus one stat buff so it's obviously really good uh, in terms of the champion level here we are running a level 13 jack so that means we have access to the second common relic slot here uh, we are still missing out on the second rare relic slot and i believe the game stop droid champion we are definitely missing out on the forest tongue itself and the third rare relic slot here but i think it should be all right uh, in terms of the relics we are going to be running a archangel staff and a lost chapter here so as you can see maximum mana refill uh, the idea with this is that we are going to want to raise Jack's stats as high as we can. That way he will deal a lot of damage. And because of Brash, there is the possibility of no one blocking him. So I think that would be pretty decent. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We are going to head back out. We are going to head into the GP adventure and see how we do. All right, so just skip the loading here. We have GP at the end and Ezreal as the mini boss. Let's head to the first uh, power note and see what we get. Uh, Vanguard Lookout rushed him down slow but steady. I think we can reroll this. I really don't think we need slow but steady. Rush him down is actually pretty decent, but I want something a little bit more sustainable. So I think we'll try to reroll here. Uh, reset Endurance and Counter for Production. I think we can try to reroll. And we get Stabilized Quick Draw and Raiding Party. Uh, honestly, I don't really like any of these. If we go ahead and take a look at the, uh, what is that, the cards here. I don't really think there's anything that can take advantage of this. Stabilized is pretty decent, but the Jack here is running basically Lost Chapter and Archangel Staff. So probably not too great. Uh, I think we're going to reroll again and see if we can get something else. Uh, flexible game plan, disarmed, and counter production. Okay, I tell you what, I don't want to waste any more rerolls. I want to keep at least one. Disarm is fine. We get a minus one, minus zero, a flat minus one, minus zero to all enemies. This is pretty decent. We'll pick this up. Right, let's head into the Jagged Taskmaster here. All right, Slippery Wave Rider, Risky Venture, Five Punch Pablo. I think we are going to keep this, I feel. Or do we want to get rid of Slippery Wave Rider? Nah, I think we'll keep this. It's fine. All right, get Mad Old Baps. We're going to bring it on. And we need someone who's going to attack. Now, this is actually good because we will get a plus one plus zero. Uh, on top of that, with Jack's star power, we will, we will get even more plus one plus zero. So that's pretty decent. Um, okay, I tell you, let's go Barnacles first. Alright, we'll go Parley and kill this guy. Very nice. We got a very good mana refill there, which is perfect. Uh, metal maps again. Nothing feels better than the sun on your scales. All right, so I know, um, you know, one who actually advised me to play the prize fight as more of a, you know, a brash keyword. Uh, sorry, not brash keyword, but yeah, a brash keyword uh, spell, if you will. Uh, you know, that helps the brash keyword. But sometimes you can't potentially kill the enemies with it. So I think it's pretty decent. We're going to try. Let's go prize fight. We're going to, um, let's see. Can drop below one health. Okay, I think it should still be fine. We're gonna go with the one five and no, no. Let's go to four seven, four seven, and the tree tree. You'll see what I mean. All right, so nine drops below tree one. We can use risky venture and just kill it here. 
And we even have to win. We don't even need to play anything else. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. We're just gonna attack here. Okay, we get King's Court, Assembly Bot, and Harrowing here. I think we'll just go with King's Court, even though it's fairly expensive. It is synergistic with uh, the, the, the Jack here, so I think we're just gonna go with it. Uh, we're gonna head into the support champ. And we get Trundle, we get Lissandra, and we get Nar. alright. Um, quite frankly, I don't like any of these. <laughs> um, I think I might just go with Nar here, actually. Nar's pretty decent, right? Create a pokey stick in hand, or if you have one, reduce its cost by two. You've damaged the enemy nexus this round. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sold on Nar. I'm not really good with the Nar, unfortunately. I don't play it really well. I would personally prefer to go with Lissandra here, but at the same time, I think Nar could be decent. Stone Stackers as well is actually pretty nice uh, compared to Lissandra, where she's probably not going to be that useful until uh, she can actually, you know, uh, basically level up. But it's still pretty decent, actually, when you consider Dragon's Tooth on her with the tough. You know what? I think we'll go with the Lissandra. Lissandra was what I wanted to go for in the beginning. We'll just stick with it. We'll go with her. All right, so we have a um, Jagged Butcher as well as an Amateur Aeronaut here. Uh, shop down here, item chest in the middle, and a healer up top. We're probably going to want to head to the shop, so we're going to head down to the Amateur Aeronaut. All right, we get Jackie, which is great. Frozen Draw, King's Court. We're going to get rid of King's Court. We'll keep Metal, Babs, Jack, and Frozen Draw. All right, Metal, Babs on. All right, cool. We'll just kill this guy. If it chooses to block and it does not, which is fine. I think we just go risky venture and kill this one one. I don't want to waste time here. At the very least, we are getting a stat bar, which is good. It's alright, it's cool. Not the end of the world. Uh, we'll probably bring on Jack next turn. Jack on. Alright, I think I have an idea. Um, let's go parley and kill this 1-1 one -one first. Alright, so in some cases, we can trigger the Brash, and this is one of them. We're gonna go with the Price Fight, and we're gonna use this with the 5-5. Five five. So, yeah, that should drop the health. Uh, we can refill mana if we want to. Mm, but you know what? I think this is what we'll do. So, I know we can safely attack here because Brash will prevent this 1-1 one -one from blocking, but since we can't take it out, we might as well. Uh, let's go ahead and just deal 2 and kill this guy. It's fine. And now, what we can do... Um... We can bring on 5 Punch Pablo if we want to. And Jack should level up as well, I believe, right? Yeah, I think he should, so we're gonna do that. Alright, 5 Punch Pablo on. I think we might even get the win here. Uh, we've just played another spell. What's gonna happen is that the adventure power will give us a attune and then we'll get a stat buff. So yeah, we should be able to get the win, I believe. Yep, I told you. So 14, 6, 20. Uh, we should be able to save the attack here and get the win. Alright, pretty decent. So we get above the Risky Venture Elusive. I think we just got above the Risky Venture here. Uh, we're gonna head to the shop as I intended, and we are gonna pick up an additional power, obviously. We got a nab, which isn't perfect. I don't want to spend the reroll here, but I don't think it should matter. I think we'll just spend the reroll. It should be fine. Let's hope we get something good. 
And we get Vanguard Lookout, which is pretty shit, but we are still gonna pick it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab a buff to King's Court is fine. One purchase will buff every single unit, and we should be good. So let's go ahead and head into the Crimson Aristocrat. Alright, let's draw here, Metal Bamps, King's Court. We're gonna get rid of King's Court. Fairly expensive, we don't need it. We might even just cut it out later. Um, we'll see. But for now, we are just gonna work with what we've got. So... Vanguard Defender on is pretty okay. Um, they should be fine, right? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna die, so it's cool. Let's go with the Metal Babs first. Alright, no unit summon, we're gonna attack. Right, I'm gonna drop Lissandra. Alright. I know we're not gonna be able to kill it, but it's cool. Oh, we got Jack here, cool. We're gonna bring him on. Alright, we'll go price fight, and now we'll go price fight between 4 4 and this 1 5 here. Yep. Uh, we'll go Barnacles here, and I think we'll just buff. Uh, let's buff. Let's buff this tree one. The other one's gonna die, so it's fine. So we're just gonna attack with everyone. It's cool. This one's probably gonna die next turn, so we're still gonna attack with it. Uh, probably not going to be able to level up Jack here, but it's cool. Yep, that one's going to die. Uh, Bamps is going to die next turn as well, it's fine. But we get Barnacles here, which is perfect, so we're going to give it to Bamps. Make her survive a little bit more. Um, let's see, how are we going to kill here? Well, we can kill this 5-5. Five five. We might have to sack one of the... We're gonna sack the Babs. Yeah, we should be able to sack the Babs. It's fine. We should have a win next turn anyway, so it's cool. I will just drop the Wave Rider. It's fine, but we should still win. I'm not even too bothered about leveling up the Jack, because we are just gonna win here. It doesn't matter. Alright, so we get Norris T here and a buff to Risky Venture again. We are gonna buff up Risky Venture. I think that's probably gonna be a good buff. Let's head to the shop here. We are gonna purchase another power. We get the new student, which isn't too bad, but not too great either. I think we're just gonna ignore it. I really don't think we need that. It's taking up board space, so yeah, I really don't think we need that card. Uh, in terms of the other stuff here, I really don't see anything I like, so we're just gonna leave. We're gonna head straight into the champion arm chest. Uh, grab a buff, and we get mana deposit on Jack. That is actually pretty good. We are going to pick this up. And we're going to head into the healer here. So I think we can safely cut a card. I honestly don't think we're going to be playing the uh, King's Court here because it's fairly expensive. Uh, it, it could work, don't get me wrong, but we're probably not going to play it. But I think to be safe, we'll just keep it. Let's actually get rid of um, probably... Uh, nothing. We're not gonna get rid of anything because Entomb could be fairly useful. I was considering getting rid of this, but Obliterate is actually pretty nice, so we're just gonna keep it. So I tell you, we'll just take the tree health here, and we are gonna head into Astro. Alright, so we get Jack here, King's Court. We're gonna get rid of Five Punch Pablo and one King's Court. We'll keep the rest. Yeah, I think we might actually get rid of King's Court next time, because it's seven cost, we are rerolling it away, so we're not really playing it. So it's basically just, you know, taking up hand, uh, you know, taking up a spot in our hand. So what we're going to do is we're just going to attack here since it's a free Nexus. You know what my future is? Glorious. Uh, I tell you what, let's do this. I think we should be able to get a plus one plus zero, right? Because we will... Oh, it's only for this round, unfortunately. Alright, so we're not going to play anything yet. We are going to pass the turn. Don't mind if I do. That's fine. 
I don't want to get the buff on this turn because we've already attacked, so it's going to be useless. I'd rather get it on the next turn. Uh, we're going to go with Lissandra here. Lissandra. Alright, we are... No, let's not go parley yet. Let's uh, end around. Okay, we'll just go Jack here, I feel. Um, we're not going to exactly get a good you know, amount of mana refill, but it should be fine. It's not a blood sport without a little blood. Well, what I meant was, you know, I'm not going to be able to maximize the Lost Chapter, because Lost Chapter will refill our spell mana uh, back to full. So since we went two, it's only going to refill one, which isn't exactly the best value, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to go with Parley. No, actually, let's not go with Parley here. There might be an Esfro coming, right? Uh, it should be out of mana, so it should be pretty safe. No, no, I think this is what we'll do. Let's go... No, no, I, it, we'll, we'll just go price fight. We will probably go and... 5-4 um, and the zero tree. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's give a show, right? now I pack a punch. It's fine. All right, we'll kill the zero one. Now we can go five punch Pablo. Yeah, we're out of we, we don't have enough um, space to refill mana here, but it's fine. Uh, gotcha, it's cool. I think we'll just immediately use this to deal damage to the one tree first. Now, this should allow us to attack pretty safely. Um, we might lose one of the five trees, but it's fine. Yep. Unfortunately, we can't level up the jack here. It's cool. We're just getting the round. So close to leveling up, but um, he's going to reset now, right? Yeah, he is going to reset, unfortunately. Well, it's fine. Um, okay, let's go five punch Pablo again. Oh shit, I forgot about the. No, it's fine because this is a defensive turn, uh, so getting the stat buff is probably gonna be useless anyway. So let's go prize fight. We're gonna get rid of Esro here. Risky venture will kill the Esro. We'll grab the invoke. Uh, we can actually play that, and we might even be able to play Slippery Wave Rider here. Either way, we should be able to level up the Jack, I feel. Do we? I'm not sure. Um, 6, 12, we refill, we get... F we, 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 we go up to 7, then we can spend 5, and yeah, we level up the Jack. Cool, we're gonna do that. Alright, so now we draw the Wave Rider, he levels up. Uh, we'll block with a 9-5. Lissandra gets the buff. And we should win next turn, I believe. Because we have the numerical advantage. It's fine. It is fine. Alright, so good so far. We get Spell Shield here, Vampiric Scepter. I think we might go with Spell Shield, um, just in case, so we're just gonna pick that up. Uh, spell Shield on Jack, I should be more precise. We're gonna head to the Power Note here. Grab A, we get Stick of Fingers and Vanguard Lookout again. These two are probably not what I'm gonna be going for. We already have too much, you know, uh, Vanguard Lookout, so it's sitting around taking up board space. Uh, I don't like the nap, honestly, so I think we're just gonna go to Dragon's Rage. Right, let's see. We have a Ferro Remitter and a Healer here. I think we are going to head down to the Healer, so we're going to head to the Harrow Spring, I feel. 
All right, parley, risky venture. We're gonna get rid of one risky venture. We'll keep the rest. Uh, we can work with what we got. And we get five punch Pablo. Cool. All right, pocket picker on. Uh, we'll put the one for you. Now, Parley's not gonna do anything, so we're just gonna pass the turn. Bring on Pablo next. Pablo? Alright, I have an idea. Um, we can kill this guy, and I think that's what we're gonna do. Yep, Parley. Mm. Right, let's go Barnuggles first. We're gonna buff... Okay, let's buff the four tree because I think we're gonna use the seven one to challenge the zero two. Oh, actually, no. Are we? Oh, okay, I think I played this up. Uh, I think I screwed this up a little bit because I think if I went with price fight first or if we went and killed... Yeah, we should have played Risky Venture first. Then we could have killed that guy. <laughs> uh, well, it's fine. It's still okay. It's not the end of the world, obviously. Um, playing this won't really do anything here except give us some extra stat buffs, so that's still pretty decent. I tell you, what, we're just going to do it. Let's go with the... Uh, either one doesn't matter, so one to zero two. It's not going to die anyway. At the very least, we get some extra stat buffs. Uh, we might deal a little extra damage, but unfortunately, we can't really play Risky Venture here because I wasn't thinking straight, but it's fine. Yep, getting the coin here is quite useless because we can't really do anything. We should be okay. We're not in any, you know, immediate danger. Um, let's go Pablo. Okay, so I think we just killed the zero one because this guy won't get the stat buff. It's, you know, if there's nothing to support it. And at the same time, we get rid of an elusive, which I think I'm happy to do. And yeah, we should be fine. We're not even gonna play anything. We should be able to have the numerical advantage next turn. We should be able to win. No problem. And we get Jack, we'll bring him on. It's fine. Alright, let's just go price fight 6-1 to this 2-4. Again, doesn't really matter, but um, I just want to make sure that we are able to guarantee damage here. We should be fine. We should definitely be fine. Yep, we are fine. Well, let's just drag this guy here and we'll plop this guy here. There we go. We still win. Alright, and we get another buff to Jack here. Ancient coin. We're going to pick that up, obviously. Uh, Jack's one of our champions that we are looking to use, so obviously we're gonna buff it. We're gonna head to the healer here, and I think we'll finally cut a card. I really don't think we need the King's Court. We're probably just gonna get rid of it anyway because we're not playing it, so we'll just make the decision here to get rid of this card. We're gonna head into the shop and purchase another power. Memory game, I don't think we need this. I really don't, so we're just gonna ignore it. Uh, in terms of the cards here, I don't see anything else I like, so we're just gonna ignore that as well. Uh, let's see, we have a Incisor the Tactician and a Champion Arm Chest. I think we're gonna head down, so we're gonna take on the Mage Seeker Insider. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of Entomb, and I think we'll get rid of Frozen Troll here. I think this is another card that we might consider cutting, because we're not really playing it. We're not even getting to round 9, actually, so we might consider cutting that next turn, uh, in the next healing note. But we need to be really careful here. Insider can potentially be dangerous, because it will be able to create Redouble Valor. So that's a potential threat here. Uh, we're gonna go Barnacles, and we're just gonna buff any one of the uh, Vanguard Lookouts. Uh, just gonna attack here. The 
Jack on. Uh, Lissandra on. Now we're not going to play that yet. I don't think we're going to play anything here. Because we can potentially keep this for the next turn. That way we get the stat buff and we're taking full advantage of the jack power here. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we'll drop the bamps first. Alright, so kill this guy. Uh, let's go... Let's go Trickster. Got a little build water special for you. My call. Will you comply? Or are you complicit? Parlay. I don't want to kill the zero one one because I know it will be able to get a 6 cost spell. Uh, so there's a chance it will be redoubled Valor, which I'm not looking to ha uh, have trigger. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go price fight here. We'll have Lissandra... Strike this to tree. Yeah, I think I have an idea. It's cool. Let's give him a show, eh? All right, so we'll go parlay. Um, we'll drop this to tree. Risky venture. Get a. Let's get a trickster. Stop them. All right, I think we just attack here. Um, hey. we're not gonna be able to level up the jack, but it's fine. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. I think it should be okay. We'll just win next turn. I wasn't seeing a way out. Maybe there was a way out, but I'm probably too stupid to realize. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it's fine, it's fine. We'll just go with Slippery Wave right here. We'll replace this 5 cost. We're probably not going to be seeing too much use out of it. Um, I realize we're wasting a tune, but at the very least it's an extra elusive. So I think it's pretty good. Either way, we should still win. So not really that big of a deal. Alright, awesome. So we get above the parley. We're just gonna pick that up. Gonna head into the champion arm chest here. Alright, so we get a uh, quick strike blade. Okay, that's actually pretty decent, but a little bit scary at the same time because if we are in a situation where we attack with a jack and he essentially dies, uh, that means what I'm trying to say here is that the enemy has units that can potentially kill the jack. Uh, we will be locked into the free attack, so we can't really pull him back. So I think that could be pretty scary. I don't think we're going to go with that. We might want to go with Vampire Scepter. The heal is actually pretty decent. But you know what? Let's be, let's be brave. Let's be brash. Let's go ahead and just pick up the Quick Strike Blade. It should be fine. Let's be brash. Pun there. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to head into the healer here. We're going to grab a card. I think we'll finally get rid of the Frost God Troll. We are probably not going to be playing that. So we're going to head straight into the Gangplank here. Oh, yeah. Right, we got Jack here, Metal Babs, Barnacles. I think we're gonna keep this, seems fine. Can't start with the Metal Babs. Babs on. Right, we're gonna kill the zero one. Actually, let's put the one for last. Jack's gonna be coming on here, which is good. Suppose you want in on this. Jack on. Hmm, he's not gonna be able to level up here, unfortunately. We can play some barnacles and risky venture we want to, but he's definitely, definitely not gonna be able to level up. Tree here, we got, um, let's see, we got five, we got seven. Uh, we need to source another five mana, which is probably impossible. I think we're just gonna ignore it then. We're not gonna play anything here. Well, maybe there was a wave. We played the coin. Well, the coin's only one mana, so probably not too helpful, honestly. 
Um, I think we'll just go, go Barnacle and we'll give it to... We'll give it to the H6. Risky Venture, we can kill this one too. I think we'll go ahead and do that. Should be fine. Uh, we get a Overwhelm here. Charger, sure. Bring that on. What is this? Okay, thank god it targeted that. We are gonna want to kill this 01 next. <laughs> um, okay, it's gone because like right, powder powder kick detonates, I forgot. Um We can no, let's not refill mana yet. Let's go price fight action. No, price fight probably isn't gonna work. Nothing's gonna work here. <laughs> uh, I tell you, we'll just go risky venture, we'll just kill this uh, one one. It's fine. Uh let's go Traveler. Refilling mana here isn't going to be that worth it, honestly. But at the very least, we can play some other stuff. Or can we get the win here? Not quite. Okay, I tell you, refill mana, we should be able to get the win because it's a spell. And at the same time, Jack will get buffed, so I think that's a feasible option. Yep, there we go. Uh, we should be able to get the win, but uh, let's just drop the... Oh, we don't have enough for Wave Rider, it's fine. We'll just drop Traveler. We, we should get the win, obviously, but um, I just want to be sure. All right, cool. So now we guarantee to win. Back on the boat. Bilgewater's waiting. All right, cool. So that is the Gangplank Adventure complete with Jax. So yeah, you obviously were right. Uh, you mentioned that this was probably a really good adventure. Uh, yeah, it's pretty easy, not gonna lie. I, I think I got a little bit lucky, don't get me wrong. Uh, I believe I got, you know, some pretty decent... Uh, well, not really, not exactly, honestly. We got some pretty bad powers. Well, not really bad, but not exactly the best. Uh, this Armed Vanguard Lookout and Dragon's Rage. Uh, in terms of items, however, pretty decent. We get three mana refill items. Two of them are relics, obviously. Archangel's Staff and Lost Chapter. Uh, the other one being the uh, mana deposit. So yeah, that's pretty good. But all in all, seems like a pretty solid adventure here. So if you are trying to level up your jack, uh, ideally, I think this would be pretty good good for a lower level jack at you know at level 13 level 14 he's probably not going to be getting too much xp from this adventure but it could still be worth your time trying to take on so yeah if you are trying to level up your jack definitely consider this adventure but either way we are going to end things here for now because we are running out of time so if you guys enjoyed this video consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel really do appreciate that support but most importantly it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of legends from terra or path of champions content just like this one either way thank you guys so much for watching as well as joining me this is Kevlo signing off hopefully i catch you guys in the next video goodbye